Hey guys, welcome to a very quick part two to my solar panel video that I released a few weeks ago. Since posting that video, a lot of you guys have been commenting wanting some more data on exactly how much power these solar panels can put back into the battery. And rightly so, because I mean, you can read the numbers online, but you never know if you can trust those advertised numbers. So at the time of recording part one, I didn't have anything to accurately measure this info, but as a lot of you guys know, since then I've installed a 500 amp Victron Smart Shunt battery monitor in the canopy setup, and I can finally get a reading on that data. So I've come down to a nice big oval, it's a very hot day and check it out, there's not a single cloud in the sky so it's the perfect conditions for testing solar panels. So taking a look at the included manual, we can see that these solar panels are the 300 watt model. They provide a max power voltage of 18.8 volts and they're capable of producing 16 amps of current to charge our battery. Now obviously we can't connect the solar panels directly to the battery unless we're trying to blow it up. So we're instead gonna have to run them through either the included solar regulator and then to the battery with the alligator clips here or to a compatible DC-DC charger that has a solar input. So first test is gonna to be to plug these panels in through the included regulator. I've got that hooked to the battery through the positive clamp there, negative clamp onto the, uh, the battery shunt, which then connects to the battery just there. I've got my phone hooked up here to that battery monitor. We can see there is uh, zero amps of power going into the battery right now. I'll hook these panels in and there we go. Straight away we can see that uh, battery monitor is telling us we're seeing 15.33 amps of power going into the battery which works out to 203 watts now that's actually surprisingly close to the advertised 16 amps which is great it is a quite a sunny day and i've directed those panels directly at the sun so i suppose this is probably best case scenario and that is a pretty respectable reading so let's disconnect these from the regulator now and plug them into the dc dc charger solar input instead so the panels are now connected through the solar input on that DC-DC charger and we're getting some pretty impressive results. So we're now getting the full 16 amps of charge, actually 16.1 amps of charge now, which works out to 215 watts. It's also good to know that it's a bit more effective charging through the DC-DC charger than through the included regulator. That's most likely because this is a PWM solar regulator, whereas the DC-DC charger has an MPPT solar regulator built in, which is a bit more efficient. So there you have it, those solar panels put out close to 16 amps of charge either through the included solar regulator or a compatible DC DC charger. Actually get a little bit extra through the DC DC charger and I'm honestly stoked with that. That's a lot of charge when you're essentially sitting around camp doing nothing. So very happy with that. Hopefully that was the information you guys were chasing but if not let me know in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.